Hello, this is Ken Russ with Casco Marine with a preview for our new C85 panel. It's a non-metallic panel, weatherproof enclosure, UL listed. It's more compact than our old metallic panel. And as you can see here, we've got two timers located in here. One is for the lights and one is for the, for the pump. This is different. We don't have a photo cell in here for our lights anymore and we have multiple positions that you can set for on off times and this way you can set your your lights a little earlier in the evening if you'd like them to come on a little earlier than when the photo cell would do normally also you can turn your pump on and off multiple times a day with with the uh, the multiple settings there 20 amp breaker and this is gfi protected it also protects the 15 amp breaker that is for the lighting circuit which is which is automatically included in casco marine panels You'll notice that there's no a lightning arrestor attached to the outside of the panel and we have put that internal in here uh, with, with this panel. So a little bit more compact design there with the, the new C85. It's a stainless steel clasp on the exterior. It is lockable. Alright, to enter the new C85 panel we're going to use conduit and male thread adapters and then a threaded washer that's going to go on there after you this is is placed through the bottom of the panel to get into the panel you're going to need to drill a hole for each cable entry one for incoming power one for the pump and then also one for lighting if you're if you're using a lighting package with your fountain that can uh, best be accomplished with well, this is a step drill bit and it just progressively drills a larger hole as it as it keeps going along those ridges and you can do do that to accommodate this uh, three quarter inch male thread adapter I have here. Three quarter inch conduit will work for most of your of your entries for your fountain cable. It will certainly accommodate the lighting cable and the incoming power. I usually like to have the electrician uh, that's supplying power to the panel to do that with a, in the form of a flexible whip and then terminate that with a three quarter inch male thread adapter and then I have them turn off the breaker and just wire nut those so that's ready for me on site when I um, when I get there and want to install the fountain. Before entering the panel to do any kind of work or wiring you want to make sure that the electricity is turned off. Turn off the feed breaker coming from the feed panel and then also test your, uh, test your power make sure it's off and that everything's safe to work on before you enter the For panel. your incoming power you always want to request a, um, a 20 amp circuit, dedicated circuit, so they're going to feed this with a 20 amp breaker and the proper wire size for the distance from the feeding power down to your control panel and you're going to have two leads, those are your two black wires, a white which is a neutral and a ground. Well, white's important especially if you're going to have lights on your Casco unit. When adding the, the uh, male thread adapter you simply place that through there and then place the, the threaded washer and screw it down. That's going to give you a nice secure connection. Lights are still going to come with a, a molded plug on the end of the cable. You're going to remove that so that you can pass it up through the panel here. That's not going to affect your warranty, but we're going to, on the 240 volt units with the, uh, the C85, we're going to direct wire those lights into, into the panel. The fountain cable is going to come without a, a um, molded plug on the end of it and we're going to pass that through the conduit and then the power, will, the incoming power will come in as well. This panel is very well labeled. We've got the L1, L2 on position 1, 2. The neutral then for our pump power is number 4 and 5. Common ground with the lights and the, the pump. And then the lights are going to be wired, the two leads on that are going to be wired on the 6 and 7. The ground lug for incoming power is located there. So that concludes our preview of the new C85 control panel by Casco Marine. We are on Facebook, we're on YouTube, and we uh, certainly uh, would be glad to answer any questions you have as you install the uh, new C85 on your, on your Casco fountains. Our number at the office is 715-262. 4488 and you can email us at sales at cascomarine.com.